fourth match of the night. Raymond Van Barneveld, always so relaxed and more so of late against somebody who must be a little edgy. He's a week ahead on games played. He's in a bit of a spot of bother, really, to try and get some points together to have any chance to qualify and stay in. What do you think, Rudd? Couldn't agree with you more, John. Yeah, he didn't really take full advantage. He didn't take any advantage of his double appearance last week. Robert Thornton just picked up a solitary point. Lost his second game against Simon Whitlock. That leaves him a couple of points above the drop zone. But as you rightly pointed out, John, he's played an extra game and his games coming up after tonight are against Adrian Lewis and Phil Taylor. It's a big task and a big ask for Robert Thornton to stay in the comp for the second round of matches. Barley, on the other hand, can move back to within a point of the top of the table with a win tonight. Yeah, Raymond... Uh very confident and relaxed he's enjoying playing the game he's tinkering a bit with the flights here every week and uh, this and that but not in such a fashion that he's worried about it he's just trying to get it just right and he's not trying to force anything too much and uh, i think he's about as dangerous as he's been for a long time raymond well, it's one of the great mysteries of premier league darts that raymond van barneveld has never made a final Semis, no finals. Has been looking good for the most part. He's had a couple of tongue topping averages this year 108 against Gary Anderson, 107 against Michael Van Gerwen, who he beat a couple of weeks back. That's the kind of form he's in. Van Gerwen tonight, furious, averaging 105 in beating West Newton 7 1, who averaged 103 and got hammered. Well, that can happen. Eh? Some of my best ever averages I had when I played Premier League were 103, and I, I lose the field like 8 3 or something. So, I can vouch for that. If the other guy plays better than you, you lose. It doesn't matter what your average is. Too true. Finally, he's 96 after a dozen darts. Fine start from the popular Dutchman. 55. Revenue required 96. So, treble 20. Double 18. We hit that about 100,000 times in his rear throwing hurts. Loves double 18. He likes a 96. He likes a 156 even more. He can excuse a slow start in the first leg against throw, but it's, uh, I don't know if you want to call it unlucky or sloppy. Not a good start for Robert there. There has been over the last few weeks watching Thornton quite a lot of that, quite a lot of inconsistency, quite a lot of 95s and the like. Much better. Yeah, much better delivering the dart straight at the treble or at the 20 segment. And, uh, not getting to go left or right. It's a lot easier scoring when you never miss left or right. It works for the 20s and the 19s, really. Well, there has been a lot of army darts. Left, right, left, right, left, right with Thornton. Well, 140 would be the plan here for Raymond. A realistic chance, maybe. Stealing this leg against the rope. Well, Robert will feel some pressure here. Even though he's favored still. We see it there. Good adjustment. 95, 19, so even a single would leave 76. Not so bad. Leaves 38. Well, we know what this leaves. I'll keep a couple of millimeters too high for Barney. 65. One of the ball. Would have left 80. Now Thornton choices. Straight at uh, the double or split. He splits for double 16. Well, double eight, double eight. Exhibition errors. Fantastic. Yeah, that's a good adjustment. He had to step to the left a bit to come in a clear shot at that double eight. And uh, did so quite well.
Sense Robert trying too hard. Of course, the scores where normally he's, he's quite a good scorer. Well, a lot of sportsmen, a lot of sports will tell you, ah, oh, we don't look at league tables, we don't worry about that. 99% of them are telling porky pies. Robert Thornton knows the peril he's in at the foot of the table. He knows he's only got four points, he knows he's played a game. One, two, one, to go back in front. That's okay. Well, we'll never know whether he would have gone for the ball if he hit the treble 17. What we do know, he's left a two data. I think he would have. I think he's just enjoying playing. And part of enjoying playing darts is hitting those big outs one way or the other. And I think he's pretty relaxed about if he leaves 25. Maybe you really think so, did it? Treble 16 this time. Treble 8 for double top. Yeah. Perfect darts there. Never placed him in any better. A couple of 14 darters on throw from RBB. He just looks, well, there you see 104 average. <laughs> that would relax you, but I think it's the other way around. I think it's his relaxed attitude creating the 104, 105 average. Oh, well, you see, going up 106, and, but uh, you know, and we see Roberts' 85 average reflection of the the pressure he's under from the league table, and also the pressure he's under from Raymond in this match. Just how he's playing. Oh, he's forced them in. Whereas Barney caresses them home. So easy on the eye, Van Barneveld, when he's playing well. He looks good even when he's playing badly. Well, he looks nonplussed, so he's, he's good. He's just got to be intimidated with the play right now because it looks like it doesn't matter if he wins or loses. He just wants to play. In some ways, that's the best situation, get the best results. Doesn't really need to go bulls first, but he does. So treble twenty. It's getting a bit sloppy. Treble nineteen again. Yes, he's left thirty-eight again. We could get another six double eight double eight. <laughs> he won't want to. If he does it again. It will be exhibition darts. Eighty-four. I had a match in two earlier this year where I did it twice, not on purpose. 16. Yes, that time he does it correctly. Or the way he wanted to, I should say. A finish is a finish. Conventional and classic kill from Thornton to make it 2 2. The fixtures he's got coming up, we've mentioned John against Lewis and Taylor. Well, Phil's, he, he has to get something from this game, some kind of positive result, even if it was only a draw. Well, yeah, two different reasons. Uh, he's going to have one opponent who's full of confidence and another one who's desperate for points as he is. So, and is very, probably the most dangerous player in the world, Phil. So, it's, it's got to get points where he can. So, this is no picnic here. Tonight already for Peter Wright, A.D. Lewis, and Michael Van Gerwen. Peter Wright still tops the table. He's got ten points. Van Gerwen has nine. Barney, if he wins here, will also have nine. Really, the uh, position of Robertson is a bit difficult. I was looking before the match, we were discussing about the plus-minus statistics on legs for the whole thing. It's only minus one. For, for the whole thing, yet yeah, he's in a very bad position otherwise on the stats. That tells me he's been playing well, but maybe not just lucky in some respects. Yeah, all his defeats have been by seven legs to five. As Barney accidentally hits double top to leave double ten. 
It's even hitting them by accident now, the doubles. Well, it's better than accidentally hitting the treble 20. Busted. It's double 10. That was just a suit. They laid that one yard out there. Probably wasn't too bothered that it was out there. Not intentional, maybe, but he didn't want to miss inside. He just made the sweet adjustment right into the double. Well, there is a certain symmetry about Van Barnevelde's holding of throw. Every single leg he has won. The first, the third, and the fifth have been in exactly 14 darts. That kind of standard is forcing Thornton if he wants to break to go out in 12 or fewer, and it's going to be difficult if Barney keeps throwing those. Well, this is the first time Robert's thrown first for Raymond's made some sort of a, a move to get the break. This is the 180 to open there, and... Uh, this is a real test of Roberts. Grit here. Barnabas 19th maximum of the tournament. Dave Chisnell leads the way on 23. The big crowd getting behind the big Dutchman. Oh, and a nasty third dart from Roberts' perspective. Pressure on. Just to hold throw, keep the match level. Believe me, he doesn't want just one point. He needs two for the night. Almost a musty wins this leg. Well, that is a relief, really, for Thornton. You'll bank on having half a dozen from here, John. Yes, you would think so. You know, you know any of these guys can do these big finishes, so it can happen. As relaxed as he's been, that's maybe a good time to do it. Treble 20, treble 18. <laughs> have to feel Thornton is rather fortunate that one missed on the wire. Would have been a crippler. Thornton eyeing up double 12, which is winking at him. And he buries it. Three apiece. Good game, this. Yeah, and a good leg from Robert under uh, quite a bit of pressure, really, to hold his throw. 13. Well, they're not missing much. Both players have thrown at a double four times and hit three. And as you alluded to earlier, John, the, the throw hasn't really been under great threat yet for either player, has it? Not until that last leg. And, uh... I mean, like it's difficult for Robert to, to get a sniff and a break here. Great 180, but still, he's going to have to be lucky to get a dart for double. Great answer here. That's enough. 140 gets down to 81. Classic leg from RBB. Leaves 81 after nine darts. Thornton is having his best leg on the Barnabelle throw, but he might not even get a poke at a finish. 12 leaves ball. And he can't afford to mess around. Not with an opponent on 1-2-1. Two, one. Well, I think he can go for treble 12, though. He might be yeah, a little yeah. aggressive. He might not play it too safe. It's for double 13. And perfectly they darts. Perfection. Precision. From Barnabas. And we've had this debate. In fact, well, an argument, John, before. I think it's better to be going first in these situations when you keep holding throw. You think it would be better to go second, but Barney keeps edging in front and keeps heaping more pressure on Thornton. Certainly, yes, and Premier League's a little different. I, I was just, that was more I was about the World Championship deciding set, but uh, a greater amount of pressure, perhaps, with the knockout. Of course, uh, you don't get much more pressure in the Premier League in terms of quality thrown against you week after week after week. It's crippling to some of the best. Now I'm beginning to win you over, John. thing is with Raymond throwing first with the throw in this scenario he's playing without fear and, um, so relaxed you just can't imagine him missing and 
leaving an opportunity there. 96. And he now has an opportunity as he chose the hockey, just 81 adrift. A couple of big trebles here. He can't find him. Well, it's got the air of a game that could be a classic in, in which all 12 legs go with throw. Surely there'll be a chance somewhere. 16. Good first dart. Second one's kind of blocking. Got it in there nonetheless. It's a good one, 40. Six darts though for Robert. In treble and turn, he should get a dart for the double. For Bull to leave 135. No, better dart. That was a special dart. Could keep him afloat in this match. No, go a hunting the treble 20. Thornton if he hits the single. We might see a pot shot at two double tops. He's so adept on that. One of those, and it's there, and that's a huge shot with Raymond on 32. North, two double tops to hold his throw, forces to 4 4. Raymond doing a good job getting pressure on the throw, but still no joy for his efforts. It's a gem of a finish of thoughts, wasn't it? Real crowd plays it. Oh, double top, double top. Well, you called it in advance, but I think even that first dart he had at the treble, it was a block. He's going to block another try at the treble. It, it made sense at every level for him to make that attempt at two double times. He's a lovely double top hitter when he's on song, Robert Thornton. Six well, now then. Here's the chance, John. This is what he's waited for. Demoralizing for Raymond a bit to not get a chance for that 32, especially in the fashion. Did Robert hit the out. He's gone from relaxed to lethargic. Well, this is a chance and a half now for Thornton. 100 ahead plus these, should be at least 200 ahead. 100. What an opportunity now for the Thorn to break throw. To eight consecutive legs going with the guy throwing first. 120. Six darts, so sure to have darts at double at some point. Could go for bull. In his position, I think that was very wise. He needs two points desperately, and he doesn't want to squander an opportunity getting on a funny out. Oh, no. hit double top twice in the last leg, just once will do this time. Brilliant! Super setup, super finish. Robert Thornton leads Raymond Van Barnevelt 5 4 and has the darts now. Fair play to him, John. He's hung on in there, hasn't he? He's uh, rode a few punches from Barney. Well, he didn't look. He was definitely not the better player in the early stages of the match, and uh, he's just kept fighting at it. Good job to be in this position, but now it's uh, Raymond's well, turn to show what he can do with adversity. Can he respond at his great first start? Off to the left. Just a little frustration showing on his face now, whereas earlier in the match when he was having an odd square, he just sort of shook it off really easily. That's what Ray, uh, Robert Thornton couldn't finish off Simon Whitlock 16. in the final game of the night. And the Premier League circus was in Exeter. He has got to keep his foot on Barnabell's throat this time. Get rid of him, get the two points. 100. Raymond just a little tight or something. Just a, maybe unfortunate to only get one treble in both those first two turns. They look like darts that could have easily been 130 plus. 16. So many times it happens, though. 
you get the break you need so desperately and you think just score just score like it just makes it easy it doesn't it makes it harder 134. well now his throw is under pressure as you said johnny he hasn't been able to score has found a big trouble now needs another yes yeah leaving the shanghai and we'll have a chance for it they're going to be thinking about a 140 to leave 32 once again. As he does, will he be left on 32 twice in the match on Robert Thornton's throw? It's the Shanghai with the hard bit. It's double top. This is it for once. You can't believe it. Would have been for a fourth double top in three legs. Barney's looking for double 16 to level the match. How big could that miss start at tops be? Very big at the moment. Massive. Five each. Fulton had a chance there. One dart to guarantee at least a share of the spoils. And I think, uh, as you alluded to earlier, Rod, Big advantage here for Raymond because he is going first with the throw. Because it's a momentum opportunity. He holds his throw, that's two on the trot, and, uh, and a good and poised to take the two points with another break. Oh, tough. Very tough for Thornton. Tough to take. And remember, you mentioned earlier Robert Thornton has lost three games in the Premier League this year, and all of them have been 7 5. And playing well, but not right at the very end. Or not lucky, or something. But overall, playing well, but in a bad position. He's had two draws as well. At 83% at doubles, Raymond. A mere 71% for Thornton. Yeah, Amir 71 to get the job done most weeks, but at the moment, not enough. Had the break at 5 4, lost it again. 81. Raymond has to be thinking six starts for this 2 4 1 because Thornton probably will finish in six from 204 in this scenario. 59. Won't happen, so good chance now for Robert. Perfect. Ideal. Absolutely wonderful oh, dance from Robert Thornton to lead double 12. What a time to hit a third maximum. Came to order. Last time he was on double 12, he hit it first dart. We weren't at the business end then. No difference. 13 dart leg against the throw. Brilliant. And he's guaranteed himself a point. That'll, start, that'll make him feel good for, for one. And the other thing is he's got the throw now for another point. What a key, key leg that was for Robert Thornton. 96. Well, we had eight legs consecutively with the throw at the start. Now we've had three on the trot against the darts. I think that was all because I bought into your theory about the guy throwing first yeah. at the end uh, having the advantage of Rocky. Possibly. Well, if we see a fourth consecutive leg against the darts, it will finish six each. Thornton looking for the hole that will give him two precious points, and it would take him four points clear of the relegation zone. 57. It's looking very much like a Robert Thornton. Two points here. Another treble, leave a finish. 99. But uh, Raymond can't leave a finish from 3 4 8. Three darts. So six darts for Thornton to get from 210 to two points. 135. Tell you what, he has played really well at the back end of this match. 95. Oh, 
it's fair to say he didn't like the taste of all those seven five losses you, you know one is bad enough but three of them he's certainly fighting not to have that happen he, he succeeded for the win the thorn gotta find treble 19 that's the wrong treble so Barney will be back to tie it up. It would be Thornton's third draw of the year 55. if Barney nails the 74. 74. So that's 14's first. Well, 11, 63, 13 or treble. It's a bullseye to get a draw. 26. Relief for Thornton there. Robert, your boss, 16. So big for him. Rejuvenate his Premier League status. It's double top. down slightly too much you can't believe he got let off didn't cash it in well Thornton thinks he knows what's coming next double 19 and he's coming Barnabas steals a draw Robert Thornton had his chance he earned the opportunity with two breaks to throw late on but he couldn't cash in his chips and it is only a draw Drags him away from the drop zone. It puts Barney to within a couple of points at the top of the table. Coming up next, our last match of the evening. Two men desperate for points. Dave Chisnell and Phil the Power Taylor.